Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retire it worth having in order to produce a career that has enough longevity or enough income so we can retire. In order to do that, we have to know what our best skills are. But at the same time, it can be very hard to market oneself without thinking about what is lighting us up in the world. What is that that our, the Lord God above wants us to shine on with our living light that he's gifted to us? Does that make sense? You see, if I don't talk to you about this, you won't get it. But in the spirit of my company, the spirit of your company programs that I used to do with people, also formerly called the Marketeers before I expanded it and changed it and resolved it into something better, what I did was try to capture the spirit of the person. And by the spirit of the person, we were able to create procedures, standard operating procedures, and client qualification procedures, and evaluative ass ass assessments, sorry, evaluative assessments so that they could figure out where they were in their business. Were they making money? Were they making profit? Were they making connections? And were they making things out the way they should be? The liars of America don't want to have that anybody have any success except them. But the problem is, when they do that, they harm themselves. When you steal from someone, you actually harm yourself. And sometimes the Lord's angels can bring those things back to the person you stole from. Unless, of course, God has a different plan to get you caught in an entrapment. See? But openly, what I'm talking about is not really rocket science. What I'm really talking about is common sense of the day. That if you want to change your life, you have to decide where it is you want to go and what are your goals. But here's the problem, and here's the rub, and here's the difficulty of being homeless, is that I can walk into an establishment, tell them what my goals are, and they'll take one look at me, and they'll judge me, and say no. I have other people who won't even read a sign to say, what I'm trying to say to you is, please stop making a power decision over me of what you think I need. Why don't you just ask me what I need, and then I can help you to figure that out. Whether it's a bottle of water, whether it's a can of chicken, or whether it is marvelously a can of tea. But maybe it's something a little bit more significant for me that would be better purchased than a $20 bag of food I can't eat anyhow. Whereas $20 could go for a pair of jeans for me. Or possibly toward a pair of shoes for me because some monster in the hood decided they'd put their, mon their monstrous little cigarette butt out in my shoe and then cut a hole in it. So that during the pouring rain that we've had all day today in Champaign, Illinois, I'd get feet wet. That's my life. That's my story. I'm sticking to it is something I often say, but what I do in this world is for God's glory, and I hope that someday it will be reviewed in order to say that God is my shepherd, and the truth is, he should be yours too. But many people are arrogant, and they don't want to hear from the Lord, they don't want to be rebuked from God, and openly that's foolish. Jesus Christ knows your life, and your lifeline, and where your soul can be kept. Jesus Christ always knows what to say. Now I'm not a Jesus Christ touter, but I am a Jesus Christ lover. That doesn't mean I'm going to report myself as Christian in any day. I'm a devout pagan. I practice the ways of old, like dowsing and taroki and other things, and it makes me happy to do that. It makes me have joy in my life, and the magic of the Lord comes through almost every time. 